Hello everyone, this is Ian. You're looking at the Yamaha RY30 built in 1991. It's a great drum machine. And I haven't seen a YouTube video that just shows you the screens inside it for the editing that you can do. Let me just give you some sounds and show you some sound sculpting abilities that you have with this. I'm going to hit pad bank. We're in pitch bank. So we're going to be able to pitch the sounds. We're going to play these sounds. Okay. Right now I have this set to filter. It can be on balance, filter, pan, decay, or pitch. Which means that if I use this wheel here, it always centers itself. I put this wheel down here and I hit this. You won't hear anything. Push in the middle. Slowly come up. Go all the way up. So let's have some fun. great 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 fun so how do we get into here and we're using this as a bass processor now instead of using it you know as a drum machine now as a regular drum machine obviously if I go back to pad bank and you hit the increment or decrement button and if I always go if I go all the way back to zero or one dry kit the regular drums of the 80s All right, so here we go. Pattern. What you're seeing on there is pattern 000, and it's a four beat per measure pattern, and it's going to happen one time. If you wanted it to happen two times, you just have to make sure that you use the arrow key and go over to the one and change it. What matters is where that little... Um, underlying cursor is like when I hit tempo you see I went over there hit tempo again it comes back over there if I hit increment it'll go up to the next pattern the next so say we wanted to record this for um, this pattern of one bar right four beats per bar so you simply hit record and it says real-time record if you hit a record again you can also do like step recording in this, but by hitting the increment key, you see it changed the step. Parameter, move. Right now we're just going to do a regular real-time record. This is your basic drum machine recording. Hit start. Went from count to normal. So it's just looping through. One, two, three, four. Start again. Two, three, four. And then we can continue adding to this. We can do 16 voices at a time. Say we wanted to get rid of that. Pattern. And page. And the first thing we have is clear. Now, mind you, you can change up the order of how these things kind of appear. You have this thing, these macros which is kind of interesting concept. So the things that you're going to go into very often, you can have those kind of come up um, in a sequence quickly for yourself. You can record that. But in any case, pattern clear. If we wanted to clear that pattern, simply enter. Sure. Yep, we're sure. Boom, complete. And if I hit play, there's nothing there. All right. So 0 to 99 and as you see, I'm, I could press these increment decrement buttons, but what you're going to learn really fast is that you should just use the numbers here. Say we want to go to pattern 100. Well, I want to play a more interesting one than that one, 194. I kind of like this one. It has a reggae kit, Latin kit, and all this sort of stuff. 
but this one is kind of cool to me. So um, listen to this variation. Straight from the Brazilian carnival parade march. Now, when we hit increment, it's going to change there to the next one. It's going to go to the Don't you love it? Okay, so here we go. That can be our chorus. Big fun. So you have that, and some of them you have like two and three different variations. The reggae in this is pretty interesting. In fact, of a lot of these drum machines, you see I have a DR5. Boss DR880, my um, MPC. Let me just tell you that a lot of these drum machines, they do not have um, the reggae is so canned and stock and nasty that it's much. Let's scroll through some of the pages in here. So, okay, let's say you're in pattern. You'd hit page. You can go to clear, copy. This copies your patterns. You know, these are just straightforward. Either. Job. You're going to use job a lot. Hit enter. chain stuff together obviously copy modify swing that you're gonna mess with the swing you see that arrow there that means that you can use this arrow and go through and see all the different things you can change it's very great you know programming wise this this little unit okay so um exit out here go back to job clear all memory used Okay, exit out of this. So we went through all the things in pattern. Song mode, pretty similar. Page through it, clear, song, copy. All right. Exit out of this. Utility. You're going to go into utility a lot, if, especially if you need to use the MIDI functions. So MIDI, hit enter. If you turn this off, you won't be able to um, use other gear with it to voice it. And... Um, the receive channel, transmit. See, here it is, where you can transmit the sounds. You can have the MIDI go out. So, if, like you put in your drum machine, doom, doom, ta, doom, doom, ta. You could have like the, the doom, doom, the kick be um, controlling, say, a sound in the DR80 or something, and the ta, and the snare controlling something in another drum machine or synthesizer or whatever you want. Right, and then this one is important too, because here is where you'd hit the tab and you'd see which note it's on. So the MIDI channel of using MIDI channel 10 is kind of a universal thought, but the assigning of which sound should trigger what, that's where you'd go into it in here and do some of that. So, it's all right, A sharp, two, you know, it's, it's all these things are, and it's spread out. Like if you had an 88 key keyboard here, you'd be able to kind of see the logic of how they were spread out. So those are all those parameters. Exit out of here. And pad bank, we already went in there. Not much to see. And voice edit. Now you're gonna go into voice edit a lot. In fact, let's go back to where we were for a minute ago. Here we go, the pitch bank. So, voice edit. It's showing you the two voice. And for those who don't know, although if you, you probably already know this about this, so all the different sounds are made up of two different sounds that are layered. So when you scroll that up the the controller the mod wheel up you get one sound and then you can scroll it back down and you can get the other sound and you can get weird with the balance in between the two so it's showing you the two sounds that make this up now as we go through here you'll see some of the possibilities like the level of the two sounds panning 
pitch, which we have, we can mess with the pitch, decay, filter. Now, this is where you get, this is what makes this awesome. So check it out. some more cut off and resonance the resonance is on the next page but let's mess with the cutoff Just great fun. <laughs> Envelope generator. Yamaha is good at this, man. This is 1991. Okay, so peep this. I know we're at 14 minutes. The cats are going to be like, ah, whatever. Okay, 1991, you had touch sensitivity, right? Touch sensitivity with the pads. This was um, the DR5 came out later like in what 96 doesn't have touch sense it has it's great mind you for what you can do and it has like great bass stuff and chorus i mean chord stuff that you can do in there and all that it's great they didn't make it touch sensitive which is just terrible if you want that that feel you have to plug something else in there and then play it off something else anyway um dr880 is great but then it doesn't have so many tracks as the dr5 and i mean Right now on eBay, I believe the Yamaha Y30, there are a couple of them in um, Japan or something like that. And they cost like a lot of money. You could, but 2016 with products like the MPC Live and the MPC X coming out and the processing power in them, all you need are really the sounds in this. You don't, now these things are, it, like you definitely must be like the person who wants to torture yourself if you're going to go through this because life can be tremendously easier. The other thing is with this RY30, so you can take like a um, Behringer BCR controller, the one with all the different knobs, you plug it into this and then you can control all these different functions in this. You have them at your fingertips and that's that's phenomenal too. So... Just wanted to go through some of the screens, show you some of the stuff you have.